page you pull up the show, we're going to talk about a subject that comes to mind, and that is why Rock took Howard out. Now, why did she take him out? Well, at the end of the day, she took him out. Let's be real. Y'all know he was a threat. Howard was in a situation where the feds was pretty much looking at him, and they were coming for him. They were targeting him. They couldn't really get nothing on Marvin. They couldn't get really nothing on nobody, but then they started getting stuff on Howard when a lot of uh, people and different stuff came together about them looking into him, how he did things, and why he did things behind the scenes. And so he became the target. Now, if you pay close attention, the way he took out Burke was the way Rock took him out. Basically, the way season episode one and season three ended is the same way um, the last episode of season three ended as well with a bullet to the head. And he died in the same way Burke did in the same position. Burke did, it's just he was standing. So that's a full circle moment. The way Burke ended in the beginning, how it ended in the end. And not only that, it's a full circle moment for um, season one as well. And what I mean by that is that basically Rock attempted to take um, Howard out at the very end of season one. And the main reason was because in some way he was kind of siding with Unique to take over um, in season one. And, and basically he played both sides. He was never really on no one's side, but the person he side he mainly was on was definitely Rock's to some degree, but he played both sides at the same time. And not only that, he wanted to reveal to Kanan that he was his real father and Rock did not want <laughs> Kanan to know that and she didn't want nobody to know her and Howard had a relationship, uh, let alone a son. So when it comes down to it, what she didn't do in season one, she ended up completing in season three. It's just funny how it all came full circle. We had two full circle moments with the way he took out Burke, he got taken out. And then what Rock was trying to do in season one, she did in season three at the end. And even though Rock and Kanan had a mutual a moment with Kanan taking out Ronnie and Rock taking out Howard, pr pretty much them taking out their biggest problems at that time. Don't sit up here and think, I don't want y'all thinking that Howard's death will not affect Kanan. And what I mean by that is that that's still Kanan's father. And these two still share moments with each other. Heck, there was a time when Kanan was even living with the man. And usually, um, if you can remember in season three, Kanan would go to his father when he couldn't, when he didn't want to be around Rock, when he didn't want to talk to Rock. You know, he'd be there before he moved in with Famous. And even when he was living with Famous, he still would go see his pops. Uh, you know, they would do things like play chess. They'd have conversations. He knew how his father rock in the streets. Everything. So there is a relationship there. There is some love there. And even in season three, if you really pay attention, Howard and Kanan did not have any problems in season three. If anything, they worked together, especially in regards to Burke. Um, but he, Kane had problems with Rock. And I think truth be told, this will either make problems with Rock worse between him and Rock, or they will have a mutual respect for one another. Hard to say. We'll see how it plays out. Because at the end of the day, Rock is cold-blooded. Kanan is cold-blooded. But don't get it twisted. That woman absolutely loves her son, where her son is still deciding whether he really loves her or not. Even though we know he truly loves his mother, but he's in conflict about what he wants to do because he would rather have nothing to do with her than to have anything happen to her. So at the end of the day, when it comes down to it, um, basically, this is why Rock took out Howard. R Howard was too hot. He was too damn hot. But there's also consequences that will come down behind his death at the end of the day. So we'll see how everything plays out. But I just want to say to all of you that it is your boy, Bobby B's here. I just want to say much love, much respect. Hold it down. And whoa. Hey, it's your boy Bobby B's here. I want to talk about a subject that comes to mind, and that is why Rock took Howard out. Now, why did she take him out? Well, at the end of the day, she took him out. Let's be real. Y'all know he was a threat. Howard was in a situation with.